Cebu has lechon, tagaytay bulalo, pakolod owns in a sal. But what is so special about Davao? Ito nga aalamin natin in today's ultimate food tour of this lesser celebrated province. Para mahanap ang pinaka best food, kailangan malaman ang mga local spots kaya ngayon. We have a local legend who is taking us to his top 10 local spots in Davao. From seafood to street food, Chinese, Indian, popular and hidden, we will be tasting a complete variety of everything, including traditional, modern, and even exotic. I've never had fish semen. What? 12 hours ago, we just came down from hiking the Philippines' tallest mountain, Mount Apo, which is just a few hours away. We are more than ready to inhale as much food as possible. Kumusta mga chong mga chong? Nandito na tayo sa Davao with the local, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Bogart the Explorer from Davao City. And we are about to do the ultimate Davao food trip. Alam mo tama yan, Will, kaya di nila kita sa isang lugar kung saan matatagpuan napakaraming klaseng putahe. Pagkatapos tayo, tumikim ng putahe, ay titikim naman tayo ng puto. Pero mamaya na yung puto. All right, let's do it. Did you understand that? No. So we are starting our food trip dito sa Lisa's Seafoods Grill and Restaurant. I like this place. Ikaw bahala. Just show me around. He's gonna take care of us. Tara, tikim tayo ng matikman. Ngayon, ang proseso kasi dito is kailangan mong piliin yung ingredients mo. For example, ito. Ang tawag dito ay bagaybay. Yan ay fish row. Fish row ba ito? Eh, oh, dahil babae, fish row. Pag lalaki, semen. Oh. Akala ko fish row is the balls. No, the row is the egg. Or was egg. that the pouch? This is the pouch where the eggs is. Oh, never ko nakita yan. We're gonna have one of these. We're gonna make it adobo style. Adobo fish. Adobo semen. What? I never had adobo semen in my life. Well, there's a first for everything. Ang meron tayo ngayon is a complete ingredients for so to kill. So known in the Bisayan word as so to kill. Meaning sugba, meaning to grill. To, meaning tola, to make into a soup or a stew. Kill, we kill it to make it into a kilaw. So to kill. No, so to kill. It's like shoot to kill. Yes, okay. but you eat them. The only time I ever saw those words shoot to kill was like yung tarangkahan ng bahay ng lolo ko. Ah. It says bawal pumasok, shoot to kill if you enter. It's all correct. And it goes in line with our team because mm -hmm. this is the sperm cell of the fish and if you shoot a sperm you will kill your freedom <laughs> So here we are. All right, fresh grilled food. Kusto ko talaga yung you just pick whatever bahay kubo no. Exactly, it's their own private little world. It's social distancing even before there was social distancing. It gives you this uh, province we're on the beach type vibe. And we are on the beach type vibe, across the road beach type vibe. We were on the beach. Were a couple years ago, about okay. three four years ago. But they just built land on top, so now there's no more beach. But yeah. But that doesn't change the fact that their food here is still awesome. And we have some of the best known foods in Davao talaga. So if you're in you gotta have the tuna because we're so close to the proximity of Jensen. We got tuna right here and so a lot of people don't know when they start eating they just automatically poke it and uh -huh. eat it. That's good enough as it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's pretty juicy, right? But a lot of people don't know is that some of the secret parts, the juicy parts, are the ones hiding under the skin. That yeah. is where what people don't know. Like I want to eat that so bad. Look at, it, oh <laughs> look at how cartilagey and juicy that is. And with grilled food in the Philippines, sausawan is a must. Kalamansi, a chili element. This is soy sauce. Take one of them juicy little baby mamas there. Oh. You dip it in there lightly and then engage. Mm. The so smoke mm. and silky. Mm. Huh? The salt, the umami. Who does wanting to get one? Come on, Pudra, go dig in. That's it, right there. You crispy on the outside, smooth and just soft on the inside, salty. A bit of citrus to counter the fat, then the beer, and then it goes Food the of the beer. gods. Tuna jaw is one of my favorite foods in the world, I think. That's the best thing, because everything gets cooked inside of the bone. It gets cooked in its own juices. Dude, I can eat this all day. Mm -hmm. This is gonna ruin our, we're at Better our first restaurant, and <laughs> look dude, at the, we look have like four or five no, more restaurants. Look at how this, that's glistening. You get this one, another. Oh my God, that, no, yeah, I'm yeah. switching pieces. <laughs> I'm this. getting this. And then you have to get this no, one, that, because you have to dip that oh. one. Oh my. Oh! Damn, that's big. That is good. Okay, this one's called Kimbao. So it's a type of shellfish and it's prepared in a very simple kind of stew. A lot of ginger in this, which also makes it a bit spicy and it's good. And then this is the meat of the, I know you gotta have a little bit of that meat. Check that out. Oh, the soup alone is so good. Shut up. Anything ginger is just refreshing. Mm. It is. 
medicinal even. Sabi ng mga Filipino sa akin mm. before, because me and my dad always do this. I don't know if it's a, a foreigner thing, but we we put rice in the soup. They always tell me that the rice should be on the plate and not mixed in the soup. Tama ba yan? When it comes to eating, there should be no rules. Okay. Agree. Agree ako. You enjoy it the way you enjoy it. Meron tayong ngayon sa harap nyo ay tinatawag nating lato. I used to harvest this sa uh, mga seawall after when it's the low tide after surfing. You so, used to harvest Yeah, it would just grow there, pick it. Like, like as a job or because you're no. just hungry and you <laughs> yeah, want free just, food? Because we're hungry and okay. it's just free food. And it's an after surf thing. But the best way to eat it is with vinegar and up some spices like Oh, this onion. is the sauce. Yeah, you cook it in it. Pour it all in there. And then you mix mix. The reason they give it to you separately is so you don't start the cooking process until you, when you're ready to eat it. Oh. As long as you make sure that all of the parts are already mixed, that's already good enough. Ah, so ilang sandali lang luto that's it. na. It's good to eat. Like, so yeah. luto na to? Yeah. Sobrang luto na yan. Oh man. Overcooked. Na. Overcooked na to? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> second, ladies <laughs> first. So You'll enjoy it. Exci excited ka, I'm Zoe. Eh, favorite to I used to eat this in Belair. Yeah. And After oh, surf. And it oh, pops. Yeah. No, no, it's sea grape. Oh. Surf is the sea. Tastes like no, this. No, man, just spicy. So these two surfers have known each other for 10 years. They're in uh, the surfing community. So this is a uh, surfer food, huh? This is surfer food. Did you eat this as well when you were surfing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not impressed. No, yeah, it's really good. I like it. It's like um, fish roe, kind of how it pops in your mouth. It's you know? Yeah. You yeah. understand why they need the vinegar? 100%. So, hindi ako fan ng usually seaweed because it tastes, it tastes like the ocean. Medyo malansa. Medyo malansa. Pero this wala. And I think it's probably from the vinegar, no? It, it kills the malansa and all the spices. Share one of mine. No, no, no. I, I believe me, this is what she makes. But it's an acquired taste, you know? It is, it is. Because you gotta get. You got the kamatis and the uh, sabuyos, the suka and the uh, chili. That's what makes it good. Yeah, that is really good. Really. Good. Yeah. It hits you after you start crunching. The onion comes in. The chili comes in the back. Woo! Dude, that needs silly though. It needs it. It does need it. Need every single ingredient, this needs it in here. Exactly. I wouldn't eat this plain. There is no wastage mm -hmm. there. Man, it's I feel like I get this. so ripped if I just surfed, ate this, and fish. And well, another thing that you will need to eat is our next dish. All right. All right, this is what you call kinilao. Some people call it ceviche, but... Oh, kinilao and ceviche are the same thing. No, they're oh, not. Ah, oh, they're not. So what we have here is malasugi. It's a fish. Usually comes in a very, very large size. And we have cucumber. Some chilies. You got some ginger for cleansing the palate and a bit of cooking. And to add, enhance the flavor, you got vinegar. Do you eat this with rice? It's supposed, you actually, beer and that is good. But since it's a lunch scenario, that and rice. But and technically, you don't need rice. Technically, you don't need rice. Oh, that's it. Mm, oh. It's so tender. It's like a very oh, fatty. Oh. Fish. It's so soft. That's good with the cucumber. Mmm. Because when it comes to food, whenever you have this soft and crunchy textures mixed together, mm. this, it usually is good. What is the difference of ceviche and canilo? Is it the coconut milk? No, it's the spelling. <laughs> That's good answer. I don't know. Good answer. Because I don't know that. You don't know the reason. But you did say, Kanina, you're like, no, they're different. No, they're not. No, they're not. And Mr. Experto. Over I know here. they're different, but it's but just don't I know, know why they're different. That's what Google is for. This uh, is one of my favorite Filipino foods, actually. Especially, I like it particularly it hot. Fine. I'm going to get those chilies that we're just killing Will. I'm dying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. You don't taste any spice, but the thing is, when there's chunks of chili, you got one chili and then boom, just game changer. Mine is here, the chili area is here right now. Now, they call it in English, in English, catfish. What we have here is the deep fried preparation of the catfish. Very good, very famous, very simple, very direct. Head straight to the fish. Okay, which which part is the best part to eat? Mm -hmm. I don't know, ganito? No, not ganito? that. Yeah, that's actually part Wait, of the fish. Oh, that's the egg. So this is the fish sack. I've yeah. never seen catfish roll. It's pregnant It's fish. green. It's green. Whoa, cheers. Mmm, <laughs> it's weird. It breaks apart in your mouth. You get tiny fried chicken pieces. Oh, yeah, it tastes like fried chicken, kind of. Like tiny bubble, you know, globules of Dude, fried Dude, it tastes chicken. like small balls of Jollibee. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Half fish roe. No, people are going to be so interested in that. It is, it is meaty. Yeah, what? You know what I'm getting? Dip, dip, dip. It tastes like fried chicken. Yeah. You don't taste the seafood in that, though. But I don't meat, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try that. I'll try a piece of the fish, not the Fresh water fish. 
Mm. Crisp. Yeah, on the outside and juicy on the inside. So I'm saying everything that you that you mix with soft and crunchy, mm -hmm. double and, fist. And chili. And chili. With acid. That's it. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, this is so good. What do you do with the ulo? Some people discard it, but what I do, you find anything That's soft. Eye. Anything soft that you can eat is basically you eat it. The it's juicy like fine ulo. and gold. You just gotta... Exactly, just like tuna panga. You go underneath the what's hidden. Oh yeah, there, look, look. Hey, there the it fatty, is. The really flavorful parts Look at there. that. Mmm, that soft part. <clears throat> That's so good. That's yes, all it, yeah. it's flavor. You just gotta find it. It's like better than fried chicken. <laughs> Got it. This is what I'm most excited for because it's the most exotic. unusual? Exotic? Yeah. I've never had one, I've never had fish adobo. Mm. Two, I've never had fish semen. <laughs> it's like two birds with one fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's nothing exotic about the flavor. Everything is familiar. There's salt, there's bitter, there's sweet, there's umami. It's all in there, so don't worry. Bagay bai. Ooh, lambot nya. Yes, lambot siya. The texture is yeah. really soft. It's like liver, it. but yes. soft. Yes, what do you call that? The fattened liver of the... Of the it is! It's like foie gras. No, foie gras. The texture is so soft. It's like jello. Ooh, I love it. It's like jello wheel. Yeah, it is like... Say it. She's she's half French, so. Now this is a signature local. Bisaya, Davao. Okay. It's not the Rona me little. Uh -uh. Tiny town. No. Never had exactly. This. It's not like egg like. It's like mm. one consistency. It's like a jello kind of thing. Foie gras -ish. Exactly. I've never had anything that's like foie gras. Yeah, first time. <laughs> Why did you say this is not exotic? I've been eating this since I was a kid. Seem no one eats see, semen's I've never heard of anyone eating semen before. <laughs> semen's exotic, bro. I know some friends who eat semen. I mean, you know. from a fish, not from humans, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> Anyway, it's really good. It's really good. I never thought that I would find myself saying I love semen. This is going. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, that this Dad. Is <laughs> I hope I'm not disappointing you. This is it. It isn't like the like comfort food feels to you. It's easier to eat than pork adobo, which is sometimes can get hard. <laughs> when semen mm. is involved and hard things are involved, sometimes the results are great. Yeah. Sometimes the results are maybe for others are not so great. <laughs> <laughs> ding 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 ding. PG thirteen insert. Pag narinig ito ng kabataan, lalo silang manonood dahil may temang bastos. All of the flavors of the food are enhanced by having San Miguel beer and in particular this Tandawai rum. It goes with all of the, I mean there's a little sweetness to it, you've got bitter, you got all these different flavors here. But it also works with when it's manhang and I got some chilies like Will did but I wasn't choking on it. <laughs> This guy choked on the chili. Still crying about it. You choked on the semen earlier, but it just wasn't on camera. <laughs> Don't my wife might be watching. I know. <laughs> such an Ding. Insert PG-13 again. Dial my temang bastos. Thank you. So fun fact, me and Bogart had the same manager, Jaco de Leon, but he doesn't really do much for us any these days. And can bum. Yeah, he, he missed his flight. So now we have Zoe here, Miss Road Manager that has completely taken over his job. We miss you, Jacko, but like she's fun. She's like a harder working, better looking version of Jacko. Most definitely. Mount <laughs> Apple. And she's there when you need her, and she shows up to your birthday parties too. Oh Jacko, my manager for eight years yes. has never been to my birthday. Oh my god, really? Yeah. It's all about you it's know. It's all about business yeah, with this guy, you know? That's right. Nothing too personal, man. <laughs> <laughs> saying, just give me my money, boo. <laughs> Ngayon, meron tayo ditong mga konting pagkain na medyo pinagagalak ng mga tabawenyo. Ito ay tinatawag nating siopaw. Tingnan nyo ito. Ito ay isang bread na matamis. At sa loob niya ay meron tayong napaka-espesyal na laman. Meron siyang itlog at meron siyang karne. Ito ay tinatawag nila yung bola-bola. At kung papansin niyo ang size niya ay napakaliit para sa isang siopaw. One or two bites lang nga lamang. Ay lalagyan siya ng banana kitsap. Ako ay mahilig sa napakarami. So, that is a lot. So, you can put okay. little. I've never seen ketchup or banana ketchup sa siopaw. Is that normal? For us. Okay, so Anything this is a, is not normal. In the Philippines, not normal. In Dabao, this is normal. This is normal. Actually, but hindi ko nakita may hard-boiled egg inside a siopaw before. Exactly. So, okay, kakaiba to. Exactly. I Sige. like a lot, you can try a little. Sige, try ko na walang... Wait, wait, wait. Sabay tayo. Try ko na walang ketchup and try ko with... 
No, 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 no. Come on, then. Okay. It's like a fluffy cloud. Mm-hmm. I thought I was gonna taste a hard-boiled egg in, but it's it's very subtle. It accentuates whatever the meat provides. Oh my! Very nice, especially the yellow part of the egg. Try con a me banana ketchup. Ooh, that's a lot. That's my last. Ah, that's it. That's it. Banana ketchup. Life changed forever. You can thank me later. That's what that was made for. For moments like these, you can thank me later. <laughs> it actually works. Definitely not what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, looking at it initially, I'm like, why would you put sweet ketchup on a show pal? But this works. Mm -hmm. Another thing that you can dip that bread with. Ooh. Ito ay tinatawag nilang dinuguan. At ito ay hango sa salitang dinuguan na ibig sabihin ay dinuguan. Ayan. Ano yung laman? Is it liver? Just meat or la 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 Meron siyang laman loob. Marami siyang taba kung saan nanggagaling ang lasa. Sa kadalasan ng mga tao, hanggang dito na lamang sila. Ngunit tayo, kaibigan, ay hindi kadalasan sa mga tao. Dahil may siupaw ito. Masarap oh. na natin lagyan ito ng kitsap para matik ang pribor to the next level. Down the hats. Alam mo, para sa akin, ito na magisa is already kakaiba kasi di ba, walang ganyan sa tate. And then you put show power and that makes it more unusual. And now you put banana ketchup on it. Unusual times three. Mmm, better than rice. Siya mo yung Better dito. than rice? Di ba klaso yung pagka dinuguan niya eh? It's sweet. A bit sour. <laughs> exactly. Interesting. I'll try with the ketchup. Oh, no, no, yeah. I'm not going to put the ketchup in the back. Boom, shakalaka. Ikaw din. Yes, my last night. Dinuguan and banana ketchup. First time ko. It's your pao bread. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Kaya naman sarap. Gusta kay Bigan. Okay, and since you people are close to like the mando of farm taste, to balance it out with the sweet and have something else, it actually makes it more bearable for me. Udra, udra, yes. try it. I'm gonna try the open sort without first. This is my first show power. I'm glad this is my first. I'm glad that that is your first too. Seriously. This is really something I can eat a lot of, actually. Oh, and you know what? That's I'm gonna take some of this back to Manila. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, hit, I'm gonna hit it hard. Oh, that's it, man. That's it. Yeah. That's fantastic, man. This is really good. <laughs> Everything <laughs> tastes better with beer. San Miguel in this shell pile. So, what is that dark looking stuff? Oh, it's called the, the local stew. Dino <laughs> Uan. <laughs> no, God, please, no. I don't see nothing more than that. So we got it. It's a It's a It's a It's a foreigner na dinuguan na we weirdo han sila. To each his own. With dinuguan without at least at least he likes it, diba? Let's take some of those home. Let's bring it back. I can get used to this. Yeah, this is good real stuff. Sana to pre. Tong puto. Hola, puto. Puto ka dyan. Oo nga, puto nga ito. Ah, sige. Puto ka pare. <laughs> sa taas ng puto ay may tinatawag na keso. Sinasabay siya sa dinuguan. Ah, pero... sinasabay din sa dinuguan. Oo. Pero masarap siya as is din at masarap din siya sa dinuguan. Itay mo buto. Sige. Boot first. Mm. That's pretty good. It's filling. Lagyan naman yan. That's it. Oh. 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 That's it. That's it. What? <laughs> <laughs> First, it's like sweet, and then all of a sudden, there's this wave of dinuguan, oh, and then and then it comes back to the sweetness. They're like colliding, and then there's the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the cheese. <laughs> this this is crazy, bro. All right, quick pit stop because we're gonna try the famous durian coffee, which that doesn't make sense. Durian coffee. How do those go together? But let's try it out. Exactly. Smell. Coffee, but there's something. It's coffee, but there's something. That's How really is that it. something? Is it, it? There's coffee, but then all of a sudden it goes. It doesn't smell bad. Ah, it doesn't bad. smell bad. It's like caramelish, chocolatey. Let me put my big pooty beak in there and smell it. Ooh, I want to taste this. Can I taste it? Go, go. Can I taste it? Yeah, we're. Yeah, oh yeah. That Can I have another yeah. one? How does that durian affect it's, it's it? It's pretty no, good. No, it's a nice little, it brings it in. It's Mocaccino. pretty good. If you like durian, you would love this. If you don't and like if durian. if you don't like durian, you still might like it. There you go. I think I'm ready it's to subtle. try the fruit. There you go. It's a good introduction for people. It's like, ah, oh, okay, okay. Interesting. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain. It's literally coffee with a hint of durian, which kind of works. That's why you need just the light introduction to it, and then you might get curious and say you want more. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are On to the next restaurant. We got food places here. Ngayon nandito tayo sa tinatawag nilang Davao Night Market. And we're gonna try different kinds of street foods. What makes this place so special? Because all of it is here. All the pieces of different that make things great. It's just, just a hot place. spot to go at night. At night. Let's at check night. it out. Okay, something that you need to know, Will, is that Ross Night Market is home for exotic foods, such as exotic ice creams. Now, what we have is a black ice cream called the charcoal ice cream. Let's know? try it. Charcoal ice cream. They gave us a lot of scoops. Exactly. I'm trying to think what it is. I can't tell. Is it is it coconut? Is it cheese flavored? Like I don't know what it tastes like. It's the same reaction I have. It's charred, deactivated, mangosteen skin. I, I don't know what it tastes like. It's so confusing. That's why they gotta try it downtown. But is it bad? You keep eating it. No, I like it. I like it. Exactly. So bring the heat up on the but You have to come here and try this so you can have this reaction. If you've had this, comment below what you think it tastes like. It's like something fruity or cheesy, but I can't put my a word to it. There's certainly a cheesy element to it. Like no? You taste yeah. It. Mm. It's really good. Barbecue, uh, pasta is that? Uh, uh, with chicken adobo toppings. Rice with chicken adobo? Yes, in this leaf right here? Yes, sir. Uh, it's already shredded and stuff. So it's considered like a student meal. How many is it? 15. 15 only, sir. Yeah, it's like a rice sandwich. There's some spice to it. Adobo, mm -hmm. It's like just <laughs> enough to have flavor. You eat all of the rice. Uh -uh. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the isao chicken pots, the liver. Pink hot dog. And this beauty of a beast. Orange pork cubes. So this is just pure fat, huh? No, I call it pure flavor. Let's have some grill to see how it does. Okay, I've, I've never had just pure fat cubes before. All right, here's our chunks of fat. Do you usually cook it like that? Is that part of it, like make it black and crispy? Yes, the charringness is essential because you know, carcinogens taste good. <laughs> like marshmallows, they right? And as with all barbecue, you gotta have the barbecue sauce. Rock and roll. Jello-ish consistency, but hot. Tell me it's not good. See, the charringness is important. It is. If marshmallows were a meat, that's what this would be. Exactly. It's surprisingly satisfying. Iso. I've never tried the mini iso like this before. Is this just chicken iso? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm. It doesn't taste like laman look. I was expecting it to be that stronger, weird taste, but mm. okay, let's go. They clean it out really well. You're Shavini. I follow you all. And you, you will tell to your vlog that Kuja Kiss is uh, more famous. More, yeah. They asked to take photos with Pooja, not even me. Yeah. Hello, Bako. Right. Can I take photos of with you? Of course. Okay, go. Let's go. One, two, three. How about the charcoal durian? Buchi, it's like Buchi. rice. So yeah, one Nutella, one durian, one charcoal. Durian, look at some inside. Durian inside. Dude, that's like crack. That's so good. The durian inside is creamy. This is my favorite thing ever. Mmm, no, it's Nutella. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, so good. Charcoal. Is charcoal a, a Davao thing? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't seen charcoal ice cream anywhere else. Mm. Um, they're all good. That's interesting. This is fermented shrimp paste. Okay, so I'll go on top. It's very salty, fishy. Grab one piece. At first you're like, what's this? And then, oh, oh. Mm. It's intense in the beginning, and then it slowly like mixes in with the sweet. And then the, the salt, the salt come and then, together. Yeah, and then the salt and, and then becomes this fishy little... come together. Yeah. With more juices. Boom! Then the juices come out and makes it really the sweet and then the salty and then the fermentation. Woo! Mm. Oh my gosh! Standard. Hello. Hello! This is a very happening place. So basically, this is mostly barbecue and like deep fried snacks and a lot of shawarma. R randomly, a lot of shawarma. Bunch of ice cream. And ice cream. But I feel like the main reason everyone comes here is for just the energy. It's the place to hang out. Exactly, like, especially after the pandemic. I love you. 
Bulka chong. What does it mean? Bulka chong is a combination of bulka. Which is? I don't really know. It's carabao meat that's been stewed for a long time in a bunch of their spices, closely resembling the balbakwa, but it is not balbakwa. It is bulka chong. Unique to here. This looks really good. Look I'm that. excited. Look at that layer of... Do you drink that or yes. no? Yes. You? Yes. What? You drink this? You drink that. It looks like it's really fatty. You just drink it plain. You don't put rice in it. You could, but try drinking it plain because it is soup after all. It just looks really thick, but it's soup. It's My heart went... Ooh. Flavor Town. Flavor Town. <laughs> It tastes like, it's almost like a ramen, like a thick ramen. It's gonna be good on rice. Just rice and that is, yeah. I feel like is already good enough. Should we put it over the rice like this? Hell yeah, dude. Look how thick that is. And then, you put a little bit of this to counter all the fat on the rice and on the meat as well. Down the drain, it goes. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is crazy good. This is good and you don't even need the meat. You have to have the meat. How's it? Mm. Well, you notice this is like a dish that has absolutely no vegetables. Straight <laughs> carnivore. Exactly, love it. And you said what? This is carabao? Yeah, it's soft, right? You know what? I can't I can't tell the difference of carabao and just beef. It's like when you do native chicken and regular chicken. Mm. If I was drunk or something else, that's it. This, this is, would be so good. This is an after I mean, drink I, game. I mean, it's already good. That's why this is 24 hours. Oh wow! All year round, this place is open. People for come after. here at 2 a.m. People do come Sloshed. here at 2 a.m. And then just that's how, that's how we do it. So is Bolka Chong? Was it made here in Davao? They invented it, basically. Oh yeah, nice. Chicken barbecue. Apparently it's a really big thing here in Davao and this is Bogart's personal favorite spot. It's different from like Inasal barbecue because Inasal is, you know how it tastes. This yeah. is a bit sweeter. What is this? This is the butt of the chicken. It's yes. the puet. Puet. The bull dit. Salam and puet. It, yes, and it's one of the most delicious puet you will ever see. If we eat this, we're basically tossing a salad. Exactly, that's why we gotta eat it. Welcome to Colasas. It's always been my favorite place ever since I was a kid. We always went here. And they always have the best barbecue. Not only that, they only they have the best chicken barbecue. But notice there's a noticeable difference between these two thighs. Tapa Malia. Because this is a native chicken thighs and this is a broiler, the one with the fat variety that you see with the normal fried chicken. Now, the sauce you notice is a bit red. It's banana ketchup based with a bit of other spices and vinegar mixed into it. Again, I can't relate it to anything, but it's because I've never had a banana ketchup based sauce. I think that's what it is that makes it different. Try the native one, see what the difference is. It's kind of like the difference from beef and carabao. It's so subtle. I told you. I like just comparing this native chicken to the fryer, yeah. What do you like better between the native and the normal? The normal. It's got more meat in it and yeah. more fat in yeah. it. Yeah, that, yeah, that native chicken's been running and working. Yeah. It's like a horse meat with chicken. They it like it tastes meat. athletic. Is this the booty? That is the booty. There's a lot of fat there. And it's cartilage so there's a bit of crunch. There's texture, there's fat where the flavor is, and then the sauce, and then a bit of charring, smokiness. Everything he's saying, that's what I'm feeling right now. It's a juicy booty with a lot of bone in it, with like little cartilage bones. Yeah. You know? Let's go. So we are here now at an, a famous Indian restaurant. I did not know there was an Indian community here in Davao. There is a big one, you know, there's a medical school near here. Okay. And there are a lot of Indian medical exchange students. And all of them need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there's a significant number of them, enough that you have these places. Indian Karinderias, where you literally just go up and it's already cooked. You just point and shoot. And it's all restaurant quality, especially in the morning when they make it fresh. I love Indian food and Vegetable. this is the last thing I expected to have here in uh, this Davao. About food trip. Let's dig in. Let's see what we got. I've never seen this before. Nice. Hey, come in, look at this. Ooh. I've never seen that before. What is that? Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just throwing against the wall. It's like an Indian pizza almost, huh? This is a beautiful kitchen, my friend. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank very you. cool. Very different. Yes, sir. Is that chicken tikka? Mutton, butter chicken, tandoori roti. 
and chicken biryani. Sir. All right, I just said whatever you recommend. The boss knows what's the best here. All item best, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Kaina. Mm. A little bit of bread. Mm. That's a unique taste. Good chicken, mayo. Hey, it's almost like mayo, huh? You get more spice. I like it. Mint and coriander. That has a kick to it. Mm -hmm. That's spicy. Yeah, I like it. Uh, it's just like this. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Dude, I'm going straight into the biryani. Oh, good. Everyone loves biryani. Mmm. So good. I've never had chicken tikka before. Man. <laughs> Welcome to Double, man. We got all kinds. We got proper serving. We got proper legitimacy. They even got mutton, man. Who does? Is that, is that mutton? This is mutton. That's so cool. Mutton is lamb or goat, right? It can be either one. Mm hmm. Most of the time, I think. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's good. So many spices and flavors happening. I find it's the best for me because I've always really liked the luxuriousness of butter. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Same. It's, it's thick. so rich and creamy and thick. So if I had to recommend one restaurant in all of Davao, it would be this place right here. And also this place. These last couple spots are probably the most local of them all, and they were so good that we had to make a separate dedicated video on how special our experience was in these particular restaurants. It really was something special. So if you want to see the best part of this entire food series, then be sure to subscribe and watch tomorrow's video on Davao's Pinaka Best, Pinaka Masarap, at Pinaka Local na Hidden Gems. Today's giveaway is a fun one. It's a bunch of stuff from GoPro. I recently came back from GoPro Summit in Taiwan and there's a bunch of stuff. There's more stuff here. I have more merch and swag, sunglasses, all this other stuff. So, kung among the GoPro stuff, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. Go to this video, make sure you like it and leave a comment with bang it or any comment, something like that. And my mom will send this all out to you. Also, you can buy Bogart's merch. You like this? Bogart's merch, just message him on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere. See you guys on tomorrow's video where we do the two good, really good restaurants. I'm gonna be back vlogging for the next like week or two and then I'm traveling again. <laughs>